Hello, hello, hello. It's a brand new day and this is our morning connection. The beat goes on, the beat goes on, the beat goes on. Here you are, here I am. One more day, accountability partners. I'm just here to remind you of who you really are and what you're all about. A little thing that we call morning connection. Our daily discipline, our daily habit, our ritual, our morning ritual, our mental toughness conditioning workout. <laughs> Again, just you and me. Hey, and, and this morning connection, I want to talk about how to find your passion. How to find your passion. Uh, a lot of guys, they say, wow, you have so much energy. Get up every single morning <laughs> at 3 o'clock. How do you do it? <laughs> right? Well, I have to really love what I do. I love coming to you, and there's a lot of facets to it. But it wasn't always this way. If you know my story, I used to work in a grocery store. Work my way up the ladder. I was a junior, 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 and junior manager wondering, what do I want to do with my life? I'm destined for more than this, you know? Working my way up the ladder, right? Then becoming the bodybuilder, right? Uh, and I always ask myself this that question, how do I find my passion? What was I put on this earth to do? So I'm going to talk about that. Uh, the internet, you see it all over. You see so many passionate people sharing their message nowadays, right? It's in your face. How can you do more of that? How can, if you are living your passion, how can you uh, do it, step into it uh, fully, get even more out of it, have more of an impact on other people? So, uh, uh, during this morning connection, I want to talk about how to find your passion. That question, oh, it, it just haunted me uh, in my early 20s. <laughs> All right, and I tried many different things, so I, I want to share that with you. Uh, maybe you know what that is. Uh, maybe I'll help uh, you with some of the, the advice that I got. Uh, and uh, the continual journey that you're on, right? Because even when you find your passion, you're going to be challenged along the way. But it really makes a huge difference if you're living your passion and it's totally congruent. It flows with who you are, uh, all your values, your beliefs, your interests. So I want to talk about how to find your passion in this morning connection. Hey, I love it when you say good morning. So say good morning, uh, whether you're watching me on Instagram, I want to say hello, or you're watching me live on a Facebook, at Skip LaCour, at Skip LaCour on Instagram, and you're on the Manformation YouTube channel, all of these morning connections, if you're new uh, to our mental toughness conditioning workout, that's a big joke, by the way, if you're new, is that I can't say mental toughness conditioning workout unless I give it front double bicep. <laughs> all right, so uh, go to the Manformation YouTube channel, and you'll see all of these morning connections to start your day off with focus, direction, passion, and energy <laughs> every single day. All right, so I want to say hello. Let's see. Let's start on uh, Facebook uh, today. Who we have here uh, joining us? And get ready, Instagram. I'm coming over to you. This is your time where I give you the shout out, the favorite, my favorite time of the day. All right, I love this. I love this. Uh, uh, Augustine, a good morning to you, sir, over on Facebook. Uh, uh, Nakate and, and Pete, uh, good morning. So glad you are here. Uh, Lewis, a uh, good morning to you, sir. All right, over on uh, Instagram. Instagram's uh, it's coming up strong here. Facebook, Hellboy MMA. You know what? I love to say Hellboy MMA for some reason. So glad you're here, Ahmed. Uh, my wife Carrie Lacour joining us. Three, it's 3 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. She can be sleeping for hours, and she's here to support me. Uh, here to support you. I, I've said this before. I want to say it again. A lot of guys say, you know, admire my passion, uh, how my energy, how do I do all these things every single day, pounding away, whether it's with this morning connection or everything that I do with my uh, workouts for older men, where I specifically design my information, uh, whether training, nutrition, mindset, lifestyle uh, for older men, right? And, uh, if you want to show your appreciation to me, you need to show your appreciation to Carrie. She's so supportive uh, in, in helping me help you. So uh, Carrie is watching, my wife Carrie, <laughs> beautiful wife Carrie, and supportive wife Carrie. You, you guys need a wife like uh, Carrie, and I hope you're lucky enough to, to do that, uh, have that, or you will have that like me. Ahmed uh, D88 is here. <laughs> Carrie gives me the thumbs up. She agrees. <laughs> right, uh, Chris. Good morning, Wayne. Good morning to you, sir. 
So glad you're here. Uh, Jared, good morning. You working out today? Me and Jared, we're more than uh, just accountability partners here on uh, This Morning Connection. Uh, we're going on a journey one-on-one, -on -one, Jared. Just loving his journey. I mean, uh, inside perspective, what he's put on the earth to do, his passion. Right, if you're interested in that one-on-one -on -one coaching that I talk about once, twice, 187, 1,087 times, <laughs> go to uh, skiplacore.com and you can uh, see all the different coaching packages I have. But if you want to talk to me about it, go to talkwithskip.com. Talkwithskip.com will take you over to my schedule. I'd love to just uh, you know talk to you for a few minutes. Uh, Jim C., nice to connect with you. So Jared is here. Um, Mike. Good morning to you, sir. So glad you're joining today. Yeah, Jared just finished biceps. Awesome, 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 sir. Or 1969, Sarkis has joined. Right, Benjamin over on uh, Facebook. Uh, Raul, good to have you guys here. Good morning, good morning, good morning. All right, so let's talk about the topic. How to find your passion. You know, I, you know, you know um, when I was a young man searching, what do I, what do I love to do? What was I put on this earth to do? Uh, I wanted to live my passion. Uh, you know, I, I obviously, uh, you would see people on television <laughs> at that time or however was the, the, the books. And, uh, and so, you know, it was in your face. Well, what can I do? Hey, and you had uh, those people who inspired you. But I'll tell you what, it's a lot. Uh, different now with social media it's in your face you have so many passionate people uh, on attached to your hands attached to your phone all right uh, it, it's so prevalent where everyday people just like you and me are, are sharing their passion all over the internet it's in your face and probably how can I do that too right well um, I don't know it didn't didn't seem like I had uh, you know so many people in my face showing me that it was possible all right, so uh, I really needed uh, some direction. I remember I got a, a few tips along the right way uh, and some things I want to add. So uh, if you're that way, you see uh, all these people just uh, living their, their passion, you want to do that too. You know you have inside of you, right? All this talent, the ability, the uh, willingness to share and connect. You want to live that life. You want to have more energy. I'll tell you, it really makes a, a big difference when you want to know how to get motivated, uh, how to stay motivated, how to stay hungry. Right? How, how to uh, be more confident. <laughs> All the things we talk about in, in the morning can actually get you the things to think about to become your very best. It, it really helps if you're doing something that you love, your passion. All right, so here are the things. That this, I got some help along the way, uh, kind of figuring this out, and then, you know, uh, it, it's refined along the way. The first thing is, what do you love to do? I mean, what do you just love to do? Uh, because even when uh, you are, uh, you do find your passion, uh, it's just not going to be just this effortless uh, journey. You're going to be challenged, right? There's always parts to this journey uh, that uh, uh, that aren't quite as easy to follow through with, uh, along with everything you do. That's part of any journey. So if you think it's just going to be effortless, it's not. It really helps, right, uh, to make the most out of yourself if it's what you really love to do, not that you like it. All right. Not that uh, you. I, I know a lot of people who pick, you know, occupations or they, they do things because it seems like a good practical decision, a logical uh, decision, and like it's a good market or it seems like an upside potential. And they may not be attached to emotionally, except for the result. I think that they want out of it, right? Tell you, you gotta, it's got to be something that you just love, where just hours seem like minutes if that's possible, right? Because it's gonna push you through, you know, the challenging times, but also, you know, especially now with the internet, right? If you're a little bit older, I mean, this uh, morning connection, the mental toughness conditioning, it's really designed for older men, uh, you know, with busy productive life. You know, I, I talk from our common experience, right? Um, you know, you, uh, to be really great at it, I mean, the competition is so stiff now. You can't just, well, I love to do it, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna just do a great job and people will receive it, you know. Uh, I'll tell you, uh, you have to be outstanding at what you do. If you're good, you gotta even be better if you're gonna grab the attention. And that's a continual process. You know, it's just like when you go to the gym. I mean, you might get some great workouts, uh, you know, your first month or two, 
right? It's better than what you were doing before. You could just totally love the process. But the more longer you go, the more years, the more effort you put in, you just get better and better and better at what you do. It takes work. You got to find those distinctions. You better love what you do, <laughs> all right? What you really love what you do. Now, that, that part's pretty obvious. The, the second thing, and this is where I see a, a lot of people, um, they get challenged, right? Uh, the second thing you want to think about is what, what do you have natural talent for? All right, we all have natural strengths and, and, and weaknesses. And I'm not saying uh, everything has to be predicated on what you're, you got to have the, the most God-given talent for. But I'll tell you what, when you, you find that groove and you find your passion, if it is something that you have some natural ability for, and I don't mean you got to be the very best off the charts to begin with, but you got to start off with some natural talent. If you're going to go on this journey, pick something that you do have that natural talent. In, in the fitness world, you know, genetics play a, a huge part. Uh, the shape of your body, your ability to build muscle, lose body fat. It's, everything doesn't ride on your genetic ability. But I'll tell you what, if you have genetic ability and passion and a work ethic, right, then you have the chance to really live your passion and really make an impact. It, it flows. See that a lot of time in fitness, they love fitness, they get into it for a lot of reasons, uh, you know, uh, for whatever is therapy, they found their place, they love uh, uh, where they can count on themselves and work really hard, they become, uh, you know, good at it, they, they love it, uh, but then when they want to play with, compete against the big dogs, and let's face it, if you want to make that impact, there's going to be a lot of competition, right? Uh, but they have a tough time stacking up. Uh, because they don't necessarily have uh, the natural talent, and then they become resentful. Well, all these other people have it, you know, easier, right? So, you know, if you're going to go on this journey, if you're trying to find your passion, having uh, somewhat of a natural uh, ability for what you're picking something that you go in that direction is going to be really helpful. Now, again, uh, I'm not saying it's everything's going to be predicated on that. But I'll tell you what, if you're at the beginning of, of finding this, of, of uh, Maybe you're a little bit older and you, you, you did the responsible things, uh, you know, with the job, the business, and the family. Now this is your time. You might as well find all these factors uh, if you're going to do this so everything aligns. But natural uh, a talent is a big uh, part of this whole thing if you want to make that huge impact. It's not the only thing, and I can tell you, I'll tell you some things uh, that you can do to get around that, but it really helps if you have some natural talent. Uh, the next thing is, what can you do that uh, creates tremendous value for other people, right? It's just not about you because you love it, but it real, it's a need that, even if it's just a small select group, and I'll tell you that about more, I'll explain that a little bit more, but it provides value for other people. It's not just what you like, and then your presentation isn't just because you're passionate about it. You, you, you uh, position in a way that it provides value for other people, and not just provide value for a select group, right? Uh, that what you do can provide value for a massive amount of people. The more value you can create for uh, more people, you know, if you can line that all, it, it'll make a, a big difference. So uh, that's what's important because a lot of times, uh, you know, you live your passion. And we, we say, well, I'm not doing this for, for myself. I just want to help other people. Well, there's going to be a time with all that willpower, focus, energy, and time that you use to develop uh, your uh, your passion and to help other people. It will take away from other areas of your life, no matter how much you love it, your family, your, you know, could be business if you don't set up the way. You're going to need to find a way to pay yourself back. And there are many ways to pay yourself back besides financially, right? But if you know the emotion of money, it's just your values, what you want most out of life, what you want to provide for your uh, family options, whatever money means to you. If you are just giving, 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 giving to other people, hey, I'm passionate, I help other people, I, I provide massive value, and I do it on a large scale. And I'll tell you, if you don't find a way to pay your back, and you think, pay yourself back, however you decide that is, and it's just so one-sided, and then later on you hope that, why aren't, you know, why aren't people reciprocating it? Well, a lot of times you don't set it up from the beginning that, that there is an avenue where they can reciprocate you can reciprocate. It's very important if you're going to really live your passion, if you're not paid back, if you set it up to just your giving, 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 and it just drains you and it takes away from your life, you're not going to be able to step into your full power with your passion. 
uh, because of how it's set up. So, you know, however you think about doing whatever is important to you, you got to think more longer term. That if you're going to just give, 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 you're going to spend these hours uh, that seem like minute. If you're going to persevere, if you're going to provide so much value to people, you crack the code, you figure out the pattern to help other people. You got to figure out how it's going to it's going to uh, pay you back. All right, yourself, your family. However you plan on doing that, that's uh, really I important. Right. So uh, another thing is that especially now with so much competition, right, I talk about providing uh, massive value to as many people, the more you can give in it. And there's uh, you can there's a lot of, uh, you know, people who appreciate uh, who need uh, what you're giving, your passion. You're helping a lot of other people. Right. At the same time, you know, being really specific on who you help. It, that's one thing that has changed being general. Like I can help uh, like all people with everything, um, you know, getting very specific about not just maybe helping like me, not, not just men, but older men, uh, not just uh, older men, uh, older men with busy, productive lives. All right. Uh, older men who have a certain level of understanding of success of uh, they've, they've uh, you know, uh, they they have they they have a certain mindset around family stability uh, a business right it, it's a whole different mindset and the more specific you can be with your passion to a specific group it really pierces their soul and your passion comes through totally 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 uh, unfiltered because you're only speaking to one specific group of people now I know a lot of uh, you know like uh, go back to the fitness. Uh, you know, they, they want to be general. They want, well, I want every opportunity to help every man, woman, and child, uh, beginners, uh, experience, those hardcore competitors, those people just starting out. And although that's noble, right, your real passion and, and the specific stories, metaphors, and analogies that can really connect, all right, um, it's going to be lost because in your mind when you present, uh, it's, it's too clouded, right? I had uh, one of my one-on-one -on -one coaching clients uh, uh, last night, just yesterday, as a matter of fact, Mark, uh, and uh, he said, you know what, uh, every time you do your show, your morning connection, I, I, is that something I, I talked about with him last, is he doing this show because of something he talked about, because it's every single time, <laughs> he says, it hits home with me, that's exactly what I needed to hear, and then he said, how do you do that, how do you do that, uh, you know, uh, I'm sure, do all your, your clients say that uh, your message is hit? It's because, I'm, in my mind, I'm only talking to one specific person. All right? If you notice that, and then we all have, a, a, we only have a certain challenges, but it's, 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 it's addressing certain challenges that I've gone through, the people I've gone through, my select group, all generally the same. There's only so many challenges and there's only uh, so many solutions to those challenges. And then I wrap it up with the stories, the metaphors, the examples. All right? F for example, so in my head, you know, I, I talk about maybe training or going through life. And I, I'll use a story like, for example, uh, you know, I'm driving, uh, remember back when I was 21 years old and we'd have those big old Thompson maps. Right, I mean, it seems so. Uh, <laughs> those olden days back there, I could never read those maps. So I, I don't even know if I would even look at them. I, you know, the big joke back then was, you know, how to fold them up after you use them. I don't even know if I used to bo bother opening. I just didn't have that sense of direction. And so many times I'd be driving down the freeway, trying to get to a destination, right, thinking I was going the right way, but in the back of my mind, I was going. Well, if I'm going the wrong way here, what, should I be driving fast? Because I'm, if I'm driving the wrong way, I'm just going the opposite direction. <laughs> I'm just getting, I'm just going further out of my way, and I'm going to eventually have to turn around. And so, and it doesn't matter if you're with a friend, you can't enjoy your friend. If there's great music on the car radio, if it's a beautiful day, I'm sweating because am I, I'm with so much uncertainty going the wrong way. All right? Until, you know, you see a land, like, oh, there's this restaurant on the left-hand side, then you'll know you're going the right way. I mean, that's how I used to do it way back then, 30 years ago, right? And I use that uh, analogy of how it is for your fitness when you're willing to do the work, you're willing to go the right way, uh, you're willing to do everything, but you're so uncertain because there's so much fitness affirmation out there from the younger passionate fitness experts. 
If you just knew you had certain, you would drive with confidence, you could talk to your friends, you could enjoy the journey, listen to the music, watch the sunset, because you had more certainty in the direction. You still had to drive, you still had to get there, but the whole thing it wasn't filled with so much angst, right? Well, you know what? If you're 22 years old, what? Maps? You didn't just turn on your phone? <laughs> it would tell you to turn around. Man, you really lived in the olden days, right? See, if I'm tr if I'm talking to 22 years old in my message, right, I won't even think of something like that, <laughs> right? Because it won't apply, right? I'm just using this example, but I'll tell you with my guys who are a little bit older like me, that that metaphor, it it really connects with them exactly what their challenge is when it comes to their fitness, all right? So I would leave that out, whether I'm conscious or not, because it wouldn't apply to 22 years up there in mind. So when you want to serve other people and you want to create that value, you know, if you could do it for the mass amount of people, the more specific you can be, because you know, the, the strategies and the solutions, I mean, they're universal no matter what your age is, but it's how you connect uh, with other people that's going to make the biggest difference so the more specific I know it seems counterintuitive it's everything when you find your passion and I'll tell you what again I say these things that I, I talked about you know what do you love to do what is, you should skills that you can stack together right you know how I'm here it, it's not it, it's probably led uh, by uh, how much of an impact Zig Ziglar had on me when I was 21 years Old, but also coaches who I had who really took their time with me and they had an impact on my life so I know the spoken word and mentorship how much that meant to me uh, how that made an impact on the direction uh, that I've been going all right also when I came to bodybuilding I mean the genetic talent uh, that I had in addition to working hard and all those uh, reasons but other things like you know I grew up when I was like 12 13 years old listen to again AM talk radio. You know what I'm talking about back then? There wasn't, there was like two stations on FM. If you guys, you know, younger guys even watch on the radio, what's that, right? And I would just listen to the spoken word and how much it filled my imagination, get, uh, helped me understand people's experience, talk shows that they had back then. All right, the, the you know, the psych, doctor, whoever, Dr. Ruth uh, Westheimer, Dr. Lord, all these things is talking about people's challenges I would listen I'd be glued to that radio all night long we would play news AM radio that's what I was fascinated with that and that led to me so what are your things that you're interested that you're good at you're passionate that can create value that you can be really specific because again you're gonna have to put in the time you gotta be outstanding at what you just can't be good you just can't be interested in it because I'll tell you there, there are parts to every single journey Every single journey that you're not going to like, that you got to round out, you got to address anyway, if you're going to uh, live your full passion and, and, and be outstanding at what you do, and uh, getting up in the morning and doing the extra work, uh, being passionate about what you do <laughs> is going to really make a big difference. So, you know, I, I hope uh, that's helpful. A lot of guys, uh, they, uh, they talk about, you know, uh, maybe uh, the shows I do or the shape that I'm in or the energy that I uh, come to you with every single day, just my persistence, all right? And I guess one other thing that I should put is even when you do what you love to do and it provides value and you have everything I talked about all lined up, you're gonna need some flexibility because even though you're generally, you're going in the right direction of your passion, you're gonna have to make some tweaks along the way. You can be, you know, pretty good, but it, sometimes if you make the little tweaks, you know, maybe it's some things, uh, some adjust, adjustments. Right. So one one thing is to be persistent and gritty and just keep on keeping on. And then you know the promise sometimes is that you know if you just keep on going, you'll have that big breakthrough. Right. And uh, everything will everyone will appreciate what you're doing. Uh, your passion will help other people. You'll be amazing, outstanding. You get to wake up every single morning. Uh, not necessarily true. I think any journey you got to make the adjustments. You can't just keep on playing. If it doesn't work, you got to be willing to take risks and experiment. It may take you off a little bit of ways. I mean, my journey, the guys who have followed me um, a long time, and, you know, it may seem like, I, again, I was just talked to Mark and said, man, you seem like you're on fire. You know, what you're doing, you're in this groove, you're in this, this passion. And, and he said it rivaled back in the day when I was the drug-free bodybuilder writing for the magazines winning the contest. And I said, well, 
of that gap in between, I was generally going in this direction, uh, but there are big differences with those small adjustments. So even when you're directionally going, you're going to have to make adjustments. Don't be afraid to do that. Uh, be flexible. And so those are some things to think about, <laughs> you know, uh, when you want to know how to find your passion. And I'll tell you everything we talked about, again, uh, during this Morning Connection, how to be confident, uh, how to stay hungry, how to be more motivated, how to be confident, right? Uh, it will be predicated, it'll be a lot easier to be all those things when you are living your passion. You find what you are put on this earth to do, and then you do all the necessary steps to bolster it. All right, so that's going to do it. Hey, if your passion is fitness, or you want to be that total package, get your uh, fitness under control because you, you have your successful family and your business, and fitness will round you out, become that total package. So maybe your passion isn't fitness. But you need that element to live your passion, become that total package. I want you uh, to uh, join me on my 12-week fitness transformation journey. That's specifically designed for older men with busy, productive lives. Right? Uh, while you are being successful with your family and business, cultivating that. Right? And uh, maybe you didn't take uh, as much care to your physical body as uh, maybe you should have. And now is the time. Right? Let's uh, figure out the strategies that are effective and efficient. Go on my 12-week fitness transformation journey. Uh, go to skiplagore.com for slash transformation. I'll coach you. I'll guide you. I'll give you what you need to do and uh, throw away all those things that you don't. Right? We don't have time. You, you don't have the next you know, 20 years to master fitness. Uh, during this 12-week fitness transformation journey, you'll get what you need condensed period of time and, and become that total package. I've got a video that explains the whole journey. It's about 10 minutes uh, long. Fill out that questionnaire. We'll talk about it. So go to skiplacora.com front slash transformation. All right. So uh, uh, remember uh, that we got more time behind us when we're a little bit older. Right? We've got to make the most out of every single day. Take on this day with a sense of urgency, with passion. Right, find that passion. Do something to get you close to it. I hope uh, the things that I share today uh, are helpful on your journey to find your passion. You can still find it. It is not too late to live your passion. It is not too late to be great. Just remember that. Let's take on today with a sense of urgency. Your legacy, your passion, your mission. Uh, connect, love. You know, uh, uh, build that business. Start that business. Get going on your passion. Take care of your health and fitness with a sense of urgency today. Let's take that on. It's one thing I will remind you of uh, every single time when you join me for uh, this morning a connection. Remember, everything in life runs in patterns. I don't care what your biggest challenge is. Somebody's figured out the pattern, you can too, even if it takes you a little bit longer. right? Persistence, resourcefulness, it's just a pattern. Just a pattern to figure out. If you need help figuring that pattern, reach out to me. Go to talkwithskip.com. There's even a pattern there's even a pattern to figure out when you want to know how to find your passion. All right, expect the best from yourself today. Expect the best from your efforts. Expect the best from other people. The energy, the, the passion, the value that you have to provide that makes life worth living, where it's just not about you. Your message, you can connect with other people, right? That's what part of the reason why you're doing all this. All right, uh, they will get you. Expect the best from other people. All right, so expect the best from yourself. Expect the best from your efforts. Expect the best from other people. They will get you in the message and the value that you provide. How can they not get you? You are a force to be reckoned with. Have a great day.